First reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 5 to 8, 14 to 17. And Philip went to a Samaritan town and proclaimed the Christ to them. The people unanimously welcomed the message Philip preached because they had heard of the miracles he worked and because they saw them for themselves. For unclean spirits came shrieking out of many who were possessed, and several paralytics and cripples were cured. As a result, there was great rejoicing in that town. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. And they went down there and prayed for them to receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he had not come down on any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 66, Chapter 1. Uh, verses 1 to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 16, and 20. Your response, acclaim God all the, all the earth. Sing psalms to the glory of his name. Glorify him with your praises. Say to God how awesome you are. Your achievements are the measures of your power. Your enemies woo your favor. All the earth bows down before you. Sing psalms to you, sing psalms to your name. Come and see the marvels of God, his awesome deeds for the children of Eden. He changed the sea into dry land. They crossed the river on foot. So let us rejoice in him. Who rules forever by his power? His eyes keep watch on the nations to foretell rebellion against him. Come and listen. All who fear God, while I tell what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his own faithful love from him. Your response? Acclaim God all the earth. Second reading from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 to 18. Simply proclaim the Lord Christ in your hearts and always have your answers ready for people who ask you the reason for the hope that you have. But give it with courtesy and respect and with a clear conscience so that those who slander your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their, of their accusations. And if it is the will of God that you should suffer it is better to suffer for doing right than for doing wrong. Christ himself died once and for all for sins, the upright of, for the sake of the guilty to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death, but in the spirit he was raised to life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading from St. John chapter 14 verses 15 to 21. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father and he will give you another paraclete to be with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world can never accept since it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he is with you, he is in you. I shall not leave you orphans, I shall come to you. In a short time, the world will no longer see me, but you will see that I live and you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever holds on to my commandments and keeps them in the one is the one who loves me and whoever loves me will be loved by my father 
and shall love him and reveal myself to him. This is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.